Hello everyone, my name is Paul Pena and I'm a mechanical engineering student here at Kansas State University. I've been working with Dr. Techies to develop this program. This video will be a tutorial on how to use the Virtual Vibrations Control Lab using MATLAB. Let's begin by opening up the Vibrations Lab folder and locating the Vibrations Control Lab Simulink model. If you have ever worked with MATLAB, you know that MATLAB likes to work with um, both windows when working with Simulink, so you'll have a MATLAB window and a Simulink window. So I recommend that you perhaps uh, split your screen so you would have one for MATLAB and the other one, other side for Simulink. So um, just to start off, you can when in the Simulink environment, um, you can zoom in, zoom out. You can also, if you ever lose your place or get disoriented, you can always hit the space bar and it will auto zoom into the window. So to begin, let's drop our workspace variables in by going to the current folder and locating to workspace and dragging that to the workspace. And let's double click this system block below. Here we have different configurations. Um, I'm using the mouse scroll to zoom in and zoom out. You can also click the scroll button and drag around. So if we wanted to select a system, we can click on the blue highlighted text and this block, the system block will highlight and so we can go switching from different systems. So if you want to edit the parameters, you're going to double click the block. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like in the MATLAB environment by, by clicking update model. If you're familiar with the MATLAB, you know that the update button is also on the MATLAB window. Um, Here's the update button, but for um, ease of access, I've placed the update button on this um, window here. So here we have the mass spring system. Notice there's uh, one mass, so it's highlighted here in yellow. So I will go ahead and make a few changes before we start. We will. I'm gonna uh, eliminate this pa panel by clicking this black arrow and that way we can see this a little bit better and I'm going to change the background to white. There we go. Zooming in. You can also pan this view. Um, you can zoom in, zoom out. Uh, if you ever want to go back to this front face, you can go to this upside toolbar and locate the front view and it will drop you back to the front view. So if you want to change your spring constant, you can change your spring constant, you can change your mass, uh, damping. For this video, we're going to focus on the free response. So in this free response, the free response will be from the initial displacement. And we can move this slider to indicate which will be the initial position, or you can type in the value. Um, notice it goes from negative 3.5 centimeters to 3.5 centimeters and let's say if you type something bigger than that um, it will not let you it will not accept anything bigger than that so it will not like that so if you want to see it on the mechanics explorer you can hit update model and we are at negative 2.03 and if you want to run the simulation we can click run we can also click it up here as well as over here so there's three buttons but for ease of access I put it all in this one window so I'll hit run simulation and if you want to see the position versus time you can open the open scope button 
this will open the scope. So you can easily minimize this. There it is. So it gives us a nice clean graph and we can go back and we can change certain constants and we can run the simulation again. Oh, make sure it gave us an error, so unapply changes. So every time you make a change, make sure you hit apply and then hit run simulation again. So let's go ahead and open the skill plugin. And we have a different graph. Let's go ahead and try a different spring constant. Apply and then run simulation. So now we have a different graph, and that is how you would use the vibrations control lab to study the mass spring damper. We can also choose another system, so let's, for example, let's see the two mass two spring, we would select it, the block is highlighted, we can double click the block and let's go ahead and update this model, see what it looks like. Notice how it's two masses this time, so there's two masses, and um, let's go ahead and put some initial displacements. So set this one at 1.5, and let's set this one at negative 2, and let's update the model. So our initial displacement is for the first mass is at 1.5, and the second mass is displaced at negative 2 and we can run the simulation and let's go ahead and open the skill plot so here's the skill plot we have the mass 1 in yellow and the mass 2 in blue and so if you want to manipulate the data the variable for the positions is out.pos1 and for the and that's for the first mass positions and for the second mass it is out.pos2 so this is the position of the first mass and this is centimeters versus, versus uh, time in seconds. You can also do the second one. So if you want to make manipulate the data or add changes to the data, you can work with the out.pos1 or 2 uh, variables. And that concludes the pre-response video.